What's up, Yumly Lou's? It's Comcast, Mr. 51. 50 YMDLU.com got on my subscriber shades and the scully in the heat. Because I'm like that. But anyway, this is for the YouTube creators. You know, a lot of folks are scared to really put themselves out there and really step out on this mega stage to let people know who they are. I've gotten over that fear quite a while ago. Because y'all, cause y'all could tell I'm a little different, you know. I dress different. I speak in my own language. You understand? But I really enjoy what I do. And to the people that don't like it, I enjoy it when you hate my stuff. I, 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 I just love that. Um, but I want to tell YouTube creators, man. In order to be seen. People people ask questions like, how do I get more views? How do I get more views? How do I do this? Man, you got to be social. That's, that's the beginning and the end. You got to be social. When I first started out, I had a Twitter account. And I remember that you don't even have to be a partner to get this. Man, screw this, Scully. It is that you... you um is that you get the choice to connect your Facebook and your Twitter with, uh, with YouTube, excuse me. So, of course, I had a Facebook and I had a Twitter. I, I've, As a matter of fact, I've had this current Twitter account, Comical Mischief with the Z, for like three years. So, you know, but I, 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 um, I really didn't really grasp the purpose of Twitter. Until I really started getting serious about creating my YouTube videos. People, I'm going to tell you. I get more views from social networks. I get more views outside of YouTube than I do from my subscribers. Now, a lot of people share share my videos. I, I, I take those off because I'm getting serious. Um, I get a lot of views from social networks. You know, um, I don't I'm on Empire Avenue, Tau, Twitter, Facebook. Um, but the thing about Empire Avenue is that they um, they funnel nearly every every high traffic social network into what they got going on. Um, so I just. I just kind of learned how to form the social networks to what works for me because it's a lot of them out there. But for me, I just figured, well, I am going to use what works with me. Now, a lot of my stuff, I have a setup where whenever I upload a video, you know, of course, it gets shared to Facebook and Twitter and stuff. But I also have other methods of getting my brand out there, like Instagram. Instagram has been wonderful, you know, because a lot of times people think, well, you got to have a lot of followers. No, if if you are promoting yourself or if you are promoting a product or if you are promoting a a portal to something where you want people to see it, they don't have to follow you. You know, people always think that if you don't have a lot of subscribers, you don't have a lot of followers and stuff that you're not significant in this internet world. But depending on what you're trying to do, followers are not relevant. Like, let's say for instance, on YouTube, followers or subscribers sub subscribers really are not relevant. But on Twitter for me, my followers are relevant. Now here's why. Because on YouTube, I don't need a lot of subscribers to get my brand out there. Now, how now how I know that that's true is you can tell by my overall vid video views that my subscribers, my subscriber number does not matter. The 
indicator that it's saying okay comical you you are doing something right is my overall video views now on twitter my followers are relevant because they help get my brand out there with 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 the at comical mischiefs the retweets retweets are key i i get a lot of retweets and i'm and I'm going to do another video to show you guys and girls exactly what I mean. Um, on Twitter, I get a lot of retweets. I get a lot of retweets. But something that I do that is extremely key is I also retweet other people. You know, I... You know, I treat Twitter though the way that I treat YouTube. Now on YouTube, I I don't subscribe to people that if I don't like your content, it's nothing personal. It's just that I do not want to boggle up my feed with a whole bunch of people that are posting videos because I'm subscribed to you just because you're cool or you're friendly. It's nothing personal, but I gotta save save that space for people that that produce content that I always watch like like Keith Barry, Steve Azor 187, Dead Man aka I Reloaded um um a lot of those people. So um but on Twitter if I see a tweet that I like or I think is funny, I will retweet the hell out of it and I will share it across other social networks. Now a lot of ways that I track how what I do is really getting out to the people is with other social networks like Clout. Clout measures your your social influence, so to speak. And that is how I know well, this is working and this isn't working. So what I was thinking about was that I am going to make up a... I don't, I don't know, a course, a packet or something, so that you guys and girls can do what I do. You know, a lot of people, now, now I'm going to be honest with you, there are certain things that I won't share with you, because it's taken me a hell of a long time to figure it out, but the basics, see, because with this social thing, is that you can start, start off with the simplest thing, with the most basic thing, but you can customize it to your needs wants and goals and it's and it's working for me and i'm telling you guys that and girls that sorry so i i really don't know how i am going to to really set this up but trust me i'm working on it because it's a lot of people with some really good content that just don't get the views so um i'm setting that up now, with Empire Avenue, Empire Avenue is an extremely powerful tool that is free. There are a lot of things that are socially free, but people don't utilize those tools. I have learned how to search and how to evaluate these tools. Now, I don't use a whole lot of tools because... I don't, because I don't want to clog up everything with, I'm using this tool, that tool, that tool. I like using social networking tools that I can integrate with other social networking tools. And it works out wonderfully. Uh, as far as Twitter, you know, Twitter, uh, Twitter works well for me. I get a ton of views from Twitter. I get a ton of views from Empire Avenue. What M what Empire Avenue basically is is that Empire Avenue is like a social stock market for people like myself that are constantly on the internet, constantly producing content for the internet. What it does is your your stock price fluctuates due to your activity socially on the internet. Twitter, clout, all, all that other stuff comes into play. And my stock price 
hit a hundred last night around three in the morning. You know, I, I was I was I was hyped up about that. And I've been on Empire Avenue a couple of months, but when I started it, I just instantly knew this is what I need. So the higher your stock price, the more revenue that you get, the more stock that you buy in other people, the more revenue you get. Now, with the revenue that you generate, you can pay other people to check you out on social networks, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Clout, Blogger, all all kind of stuff. And it works out well. Now, for people that are trying to get views or or that are struggling with views right now, Empire Avenue is the place for you. Because, because the more Eves 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 is the is the Empire Avenue online currency. Okay. Um currently I think I have I have almost a million Eves um that I have banked up. But what you can do is, let's say that you just made an epic video, all right? You just made what what you feel is the greatest video, but you aren't getting the views that that you want or, or that you think that your video deserves on YouTube. Well, what you do is that there is a place on Empire Avenue called Missions, and you can create missions, but let me warn you. Your stock price must be 50 or higher before you can create your own missions. Now, when I first started, I man, I was like, oh my goodness, my stock price got to hit 50, which pushed me to be more socially active. So, uh, once your stock price hits 50, you can create missions. Now, missions basically is, all right. Let's say that I that that I have a mission that if you re, retweet my video that I would give you fifteen hundred eves. Well, I just say retweet Comical's video. You know the link is here. The uh, price that you're being paid is here, and when a person clicks on do the mission. It takes them to that link and they can retweet and then they get paid. And then that is what what is driving Empire Avenue. There are a lot of people on Empire Avenue. Singers, rappers, uh, 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 re- reality TV stars. You have Xbox is on Empire Avenue. Uh, the CEO of Mashable. Is on Empire Avenue because it is a extremely powerful social tool. If you're curious about Empire Avenue, I will have a link in the description, and I will also do a breakdown of Empire Avenue and why. If you are a YouTube creator, why you need to be on Empire Avenue, I will do that in my next video. Um, now. I want to let y'all know, I'm not getting 100,000 views a video, but I am getting more views than I have subscribers. So, I just, I feel that it's my duty to help people because when I was coming up, people would, would, would share my video or they might like it, but they weren't telling me how to do it on my own you understand what i'm saying i was being fed but i wasn't being taught how to hunt on my own just to make it simple so that is what i plan on doing so i'm going to make up a completely a uh, new playlist no i'm gonna make a show called how how to be social so this is this is my plan. This is what I plan on doing so that I can help other YouTube creators get their brand out there. Because regardless if you think that you have a brand or not, if you create videos, if you create social content, 
on whatever level you have a brand okay my my brand is comical mystic mr 5150 that that's me because if you google that it will it will somehow or another take you to one of my <laughs> many social networks which is exactly how it is supposed to be now uh I want to talk to folks, but I'm gonna wait until the next video because I'm going on 15, 16 minutes now, and uh, I don't want to bore y'all. So on my next video, I I will talk about uh, the power of tags while building your brand. So thank y'all for stopping by uh, the how to be social, <laughs> but anyway. Y'all y'all take it easy and I'm telling you if you don't have a Twitter account at the very least make a Twitter account okay oh I got to say this now with Twitter make make an account but with Facebook you 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 want to keep your personal Facebook separate from your from from your social Facebook meaning if you have a Facebook that you stay in contact with mom, dad, sisters, brothers, old school friends, classmates, and stuff. You don't want to use that one for what you do on YouTube because that you want to keep those two separate. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, because a lot of people make the mistake of doing that and then they don't realize that they're sharing their personal content because you don't want. People know on personal business like that when you were six, that that you ran streaking through the neighborhood, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> but anyway, if you don't have a Twitter account, make a Twitter account today. It's free, and if you use it correctly, you will notice you you will get a significant increase in views. Okay, so y'all take it easy. Uh, be cool. And that's my time. Yum, they